Welcome to the infamous garage gym setup at Zat Strength's house. Let's type in the secret password. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm going to show you my secret bat cave. Come on in. All right, so this is it. A lot of questions have been coming through. COVID-19, trying to figure out what kind of stuff you need to have for your garage gym setup. I'm a straw man, power lifter, weight lifter, BJJ, conditioning guy. So this is what I use for my setup. So we got horse stall mats, okay? These are four by six, three quarter inch horse stall. You can have a tractor supply or check for all of this stuff, first off, on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. A lot of people are price gouging. A lot of companies are sold out, uh, but do your best to just check those resources first. Uh, but I got the horse stall mats kind of all spread out. Turn the lights on a little bit, maybe I'll go get the door. Uh, so pretty much the big items we'll go through first and go through little stuff. Need some sort of rack for your barbell. So this is just a Rogue uh, S-Series squat rack. So there's no pull-up bar, but it, it does the job uh, for pretty much anything, really. Then we you know, come over here. We got the Monster Light Rogue rack. This one's a little bit more heavy duty. We got pull-up bars, so we can do pull-ups. We can also add a dip bar, whatever we want. Uh, it's not bolted to the ground, none of the stuff is, but you can use weights to weigh it down for dips, etc. cetera. Uh, a bench, this is like a go-to staple that you need in your gym if you want to do any sort of exercises, but it's nice. If you don't have a dip bar, you can do dips off of the bench, dumbbell rows, obviously bench pressing, box squats. If you don't have a box, just touch your butt to the bench. Kind of just a very versatile piece of equipment. From there, we got two rowers. Uh, you know, you don't need two, but I have uh, two just if there's multiple people in here. Whole bunch of plates here, okay? I don't know how much weight it goes up to, but it's enough for me. I'm fairly strong, so I think it'll be enough for you. Some kettlebells, we got 15s all the way up to 53 pound kettlebells. These are rogue kettlebells. Um, we got a box over there. I know I'm, shoot I'm shooting like crazy right now at Tom. Tom's my professional cameraman for the day. Uh, ab wheel, we got some collars, some ab mats, a whiteboard, so you can just keep track of your progress and see it. We got some dumbbells, oh, oh, up to 20 pounds, baby. We are getting jacked in the hizzy. Um, for overload work, we got a slingshot, we got some hip circles, we got a dip belt, we got some basic bands. I don't know if I said we got a box, but we got a box. Uh, oh, and then, how could I forget? Barbells, an assortment of just uh, some different barbells here. Uh, we have a 35 pound barbell, which is gonna be typically used for the females, so I got some girls to train here. Uh, 45 standard barbell, it's a rope echo bar. These are the bell bars. Um, we got a trainer bar, just if people want to go a little bit lighter but need a barbell. Uh, this is the Ohio bar, which is just an overall good bar to have. Curl bar, because look at DK over here. You didn't even know DK was in the video. Look at the size of that man's arms. DK, get closer. We got a wide angle lens. Oh, <laughs> right. look at this. Look at that. DK needs a curl bar, all right? Back to here, back to here. Don't look at his arms, they're too big. Then we got the trap bar, uh, and if you see over here, well, first off, can we admire how freaking clean I am? Look at this. This is We wipe down the mats every single time. If you're not doing that, you should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, but I got one of these. This is what I wanted to show you. Just a landmine, so you can attach that in your bumper plates. Uh, a fan, because it gets hot AF in here. We got uh, battle ropes. We got a dip bar. We got some slam balls. We got some bumper plates, so we can do some other things, uh, like dropping weights for some cleans, maybe. Uh, we got sandbags, so I'm a strong man. I like to pick things up, put them down. I like to also run with things. So two rogue sandbags, 100 to 150. Uh, Viking press handle attachment from Tight Fitness. Just a great versatile tool to have. And uh, am I forgetting anything? I got a box. Is that box? I think that's it. Oh, so, oh, guys. Got to stretch. Guys, you have to stretch. If you know me, you follow the channel. I'm the biggest mobility guru out there. All right, check this thing out. This is a beautiful piece of foam. We call it the Foam 5000. You can find these on eBay for, they go for around $500, but it's worth it. When in doubt, you can, no, nah, it'd be cool if I hit my camera and broke it, but that's an expensive camera. And this thing is actually really not that expensive. Um, oh, and, and if you like music, we have a speaker. Uh, I don't know what kind of speaker that is, but it's a good one. Gets it bumping in here. That's pretty much it, all right? So if you're at home, you wanna know what my setup looks like, this is the setup. This is how you get jacked and strong and not tan, because we don't have a tanning booth in here. Uh, yeah, so 
If you have any questions, put them down below. If you have a home gym set up, put what you got down in the comment section. But like I said, I do a lot of strength sports. This gets the job done for what I need, especially during these times. Quit making excuses. Get it done with what you have, all right? We're in this thing together. But like I said, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Stay a lean, mean strength machine. Thanks.